dear engineering students welcome back into my second lecture of modified yields method so in the previous lecture we have solved a uh, first stage problem in this video i'll be discussing a uh, second stage problem in detail so we have a question here using modified yields method find y at 0.1 given dy by dx is equal to x square plus y y of 0 is equal to 1 taking step size that is h is equal to 0 0.05 and perform two modifications in each stage right so in the solution i can write down first of all i will show you the formulas again which i discussed in the previous video so see here it was the modified euler's method in which we are taking initial value problems in which initial conditions are given and dy by dx this is the differential equation it will be given in terms of x and y function of x and y see here we have function in terms of x and y dy by dx is equal to x square plus y we have given an initial condition will be given in each and every question that is y of x naught is equal to y naught here we have y of 0 is equal to 1 this is called as initial condition so instead of this x naught we have 0 instead of y naught we have 1 and taking h is equal to 0 0.05 here we have step size that is find y at 0 0.1 so this is this part and where x1 is equal to x0 plus h so this x1 is nothing but x0 plus h here we have h is equal to 0 0.05 we have to calculate x1 so later on we will calculate it okay so this is all about this problem and perform two modifications in each stage so the last problem was first stage problem uh, it is mentioned in this problem over here that is you have to perform two modifications in each stage means we have to follow for the two stages over here so see here we were having two steps only apply Euler's formula given by so y1 naught is equal to y naught plus uh, h of f of x naught comma y naught this is the initial approximation and apply modified Euler's formula successfully to obtain better approximations for y1 so we have formulas here y11 is equal to y naught plus h by 2 f of x naught comma y naught plus f of x1 comma y1 naught similarly we will go for the different iterations so in the first stage problem what is the difference so in the first stage problem we were having the different values in different iterations suppose we will get uh, the value for y11 is equal to something 1.05 and suppose for y12 we will get another value suppose 2.0 okay so whenever we will get different answers in different iterations that is the first stage problem while in the second stage problem we will be getting same values in this iteration also in this iteration also then we have to follow for another stage okay so that is what i have taken here the question for the two stage problem okay we will see later on what we have to do in the second stage okay so first of all let's proceed with the procedure which we have done so far in the first video okay first of all write down the given data so y of 0 is equal to 1 it is nothing but initial condition that is instead of x naught we have 0 so x naught is equal to 0 right and this is called as y1 so y of x naught is equal to y naught so instead of y naught we have 1 so i can write down y naught is equal to 1 h is equal to 0 0.5 it is also given h is equal to 0 0.05 so here we have x1 format that is x1 is equal to x naught plus h i can write down here x1 is equal to x naught plus h that is x1 is equal to x naught is nothing but 0 plus h is that is 0 0.05 0 0.05 so x1 is equal to 0 0.05 so this is your x1 now let's apply euler's formula given by apply euler's formula okay so y1 naught is equal to y naught plus h of f of x naught comma y naught now see y naught y naught is given h h is given okay what we have not given with that is f of x naught comma y naught see here this is the function in terms of x naught comma y naught we have the given function dy by dx is equal to x square plus y i can write down here dy upon dx is equal to x square plus y this is our given function in terms of x and y i can say that this is the function of x square plus y okay here we have f of x naught comma y naught so instead of this x and y we can take x naught and y naught i can write down here f of x naught comma y naught is equal to see here x naught square plus y naught this is our function in terms of x naught and y naught now put down the values what is the x naught value that is zero 
so 0 square plus y naught y naught is nothing but 1 so I can write down here f of x naught comma y naught is equal to 1 so we got the value of this term now you can simply put down these values in this particular equation we will get y1 naught so y1 naught is equal to y naught y naught value is 1 plus h value is nothing but 0 0.05 right multiplied by f of x naught comma y naught we have here 1 so which is equal to 1 plus 0 0.05 into 1 is nothing but 0 0.05 so we are getting value as 1.05 as y1 naught so y1 naught is equal to 1.05 now you have to put down this value in the modified Euler's formula see here we have the formula modified Euler's formula y11 is equal to y0 plus h by 2 f of x0 comma y0 plus f of x1 comma y1 naught. so y1 naught, which we have calculated it will be used in this particular formula now step 2 apply modified apply modified Euler's formula right so I can write down here y11 is equal to y0 plus h upon 2 f of x0 comma y0 plus f of x1 comma y1 naught right now see here I can write down this y0 is already given in the question that is 1 so 1 plus h is also given 0 0.05 divided by 2 what is the value of f of x0 comma y0 we have calculated as 1 plus f of x1 comma y1 naught see this is the function of x1 and y1 naught instead of uh, this x square plus y we have the given function as this dy by dx is equal to x square plus y so instead of x we will take down the x1 value instead of y we will take down the value of y1 naught so i can write down here so i can write down here instead of x square i can write down x1 so x1 whole square plus instead of this y i can write down y1 naught so y1 naught hope you are getting my point this is the simplest method which i am doing here so which is equal to 1 plus 0 0.05 divided by 2 1 plus x1 square so what is the x1 value 0 0.05 so 0 0.05 whole square plus y1 naught we have calculated as 1.05 now so put down these values in the calc you will get the answer that is 1 plus division mode 0 0.05 divided by 2 bracket start sorry this is your bracket start 1 plus bracket start point 0 0.05 whole square plus 1.05 which is equal to 1.0513 so 1.0513 is your y1 1 this is the first iteration so it was mentioned in the question perform two modifications in each stage so this was our first stage as of now we have to follow two iterations now we have to take y12 value that is y11 we have calculated now you can see here the formula for this second y12 y12 is equal to y0 plus h upon 2 f of x0 comma y0 plus f of x1 comma y11 so this is our y12 formula i have written down here now put down the values y0 is given in the problem that is 1 plus 0 0.05 divided by 2 f of x0 y0 we have calculated 1 right plus f of x1 y11 now in the given equation x square plus y you can take down these values x1 y11 so instead of x square instead of x square i will take down the value x1 that is x1 square plus instead of y i have to take down y11 y11 okay hope you are getting my point now put down the values see y12 is equal to 1 plus 0 0.05 divided by 2 1 plus x1 value is nothing but 0 0.05 so 0 0.05 whole square plus y11 we have calculated here y11 value is 1.0513 so 1.0513 is over y11 so y12 we will get here by putting down these values in the calcium so 1 plus 
division mode 0 0.05 divided by 2 bracket start 1 plus bracket start 0 0.05 whole square plus 1.0513 right which is equal to we are again getting the same value that is 1.0513 as I earlier told you once we are getting two same values in two iterations that is the two stage problem now I can proceed for the second stage now you have to understand this concept over here this is our second stage now see this is the y value so this is the y value we are getting 1.0513 so what was the x1 value in the first stage 0 0.05 so I can say here we are getting y at x value that is 0 0.05 we are getting 1.0513 1.0513 this was our first stage we are getting at x1 value that is 0 0.05 y at x1 so y at 0 0.05 we are getting 1.0513 so for the second stage you have to consider this one as initial condition means this is your x0 now x0 is equal to 0 0.05 so in the initial what was the initial condition x0 is equal to 0 y0 is equal to 1 but from here you have to take this one as initial condition so x0 is equal to 0 0.05 here we have y0 is equal to 1.0513 so now again you have to follow the same procedure first of all write down the given data means x0 we have here 0 0.05 y0 we have 1.0513 and as it is given in the problem that is 0 0.05 so h is equal to 0 0.05 but x1 will change now so x1 we have formula x1 is equal to x0 plus h so x0 is the initial condition so here we have the new initial condition that is 0 0.05 so 0 0.05 plus this 0 0.05 right so this is x1 is equal to 0 0.05 plus 0 0.05 is nothing but 0 0.1 x1 now f of x naught comma y naught now f of x naught comma y naught will also change okay so as we have to calculate this f of x naught comma y naught so first of all i will calculate this then i proceed for this uh, euler's formula okay we have to proceed the same formulas again in the second stage so first of all i will calculate f of x naught comma y naught we have the given function as uh, sorry in the question we have the given function dy by dx is equal to x square plus y so instead of x i have to take x naught instead of y i have to take y naught so i can write down here x naught square plus y naught which is equal to x naught we have now here 0 0.05 so 0 0.05 whole square plus y naught is nothing but 1.0513 so i will calculate this much 0.5 whole square plus 1.05 one three which is equal to one point zero five three eight one point zero five three eight we are getting f of x naught comma y naught value now apply Euler's formula apply Euler's formula y one naught is equal to y naught plus h of f of x naught comma y naught now put down the values y naught we have here that is 1.0513 plus h is same that is 0 0.05 multiplied by f of x naught comma y naught is nothing but 1.0538 okay so just calculate this much 1.0513 plus 0 0.05 plus sorry this is multiplication multiplied by 1.05 which is equal to 1.1039 1.1039 thing y1 not value as 1.1039 apply modified Euler's formula okay so what we have the form apply modified Euler's formula y11 is equal to y0 plus h upon 2 f of x0 comma y0 plus f of x1 comma y1 naught this is our first iteration that is y11 is equal to y0 value is see here new value is 1.0513 1.0513 plus h value is same 0.05 divided by 2 f of x0 y0 we have calculated as 
1.0538 plus f of x1 comma y1 naught we were having the given function what dy by dx is equal to x square plus y so this is our given uh, function instead of this x we have to take x1 instead of y we have to take y1 naught so write down here x1 square plus instead of y we have to take y1 naught so plus y1 naught so plus y1 naught okay put down the values 1.0513 plus 0 0.05 divided by 2 1.0538 plus x1 square so now x1 value we have 0 0.1 so 0 0.1 whole square plus y1 naught value we have calculated here that is 1.1039 this is our y1 naught value now put down these all values in the KLC 1.0513 plus 0 0.05 divided by 2 bracket start 1. 0538 plus 0.1 whole square plus 1.1039 bracket close which is equal to 1.1054 so y11 we are getting 1.1054 now we have to take another iteration as it was mentioned in the problem you have to perform two modifications in each stage so this is our first modification next modification is y12 so write down here y12 is equal to y0 plus h upon 2 f of x0 comma y0 plus f of x1 comma y11 put down the values so y0 was 1.0513 plus 0 0.05 h value was 0 0.05 divided by 2 multiplied by f of x naught y naught so it is 1.0538 1.0538 plus f of x1 y11 so we have the function instead of x we have to take x1 so i can take down x1 square plus instead of this y i have to take y11 so y11 put down the values now so 1.0513 plus 0.5 divided by 2 1 0 0.0538 plus x1 square x1 value is nothing but 0 0.1 right value is 0 0.1 so 0 0.1 whole square plus y11 we have calculated just here that is 1.1054 so 1.1054 is over y11 which is equal to now put down these all values in the KLC we have 1.0513 plus 0 0.05 divided by 2 sorry first of all take the division mode that is 0 0.05 divided by 2 bracket start 1.0538 plus 0 0.1 whole square plus 1.1054 bracket close which is equal to 1.1055 again we are getting same value in the second iteration okay so this was the second stage problem for the reason so I hope you have understood this problem very well. If you have some doubts, you can ask in the comment section. So make sure you will share this video to all your friends and batchmates, especially to those who are struggling with the mathematics subject. So this is all about today's video. Thank you so much.